Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for future videos. Thank you. Hey, what's up guys? Houston here. And for those of you just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now, today's video, we're going to be talking about Tesla. Now, here's the thing about Tesla. We're not talking about the stock. We're actually talking about how to get a free Tesla with zero payments. Okay? That's what we're going to be focusing on. How to get a free Tesla with zero payments. Now, some of you may be familiar with this strategy. Some of you may not. But what people are doing, they're going out using their personal credit and they're getting approved for a Tesla. Then they're going over to Toro. OK, and they're putting that car on Toro, starting their own car rental share business, and they're putting it on Toro for at least uh, seven, seven days a week. So they, they won't drive it. They'll just put it automatically on Toro. Now, here's the thing about it. Um, they're getting brand new Toro. Uh, excuse me, they're getting brand new Teslas, but one of the things you probably want to do is see if you can get it at a um, like a auto a auto auction, okay? So you may want to see if you can get one at an auto auction or you can buy one off of somebody. So getting a used one, all right? And that way you can get a better deal. Now, here's the thing about it. When they put it on Toro, of course, people are starting to rent uh, Teslas out at a higher premium. And because they're renting out at a higher premium, they're making a lot more money than if they were just driving around themselves. So that's actually how they're actually paying for this Tesla and getting it for free. OK, now here's something that you have to understand when you're signing up for Toro and you're putting any type of vehicle, a Tesla or any other type of vehicle on there. And I'll go more details about that. But what happens is that most people, they're not setting up a business. OK, they're not setting up a business, setting themselves up as a business and then signing their business up to Toro, okay? So that makes your vehicle an asset of the business. So the income that comes in from this Toro paying to your business, this builds up your business credit, okay? And it also builds up your business bank statements. And the reason that you wanted to do that so that you can go back and you can buy another Tesla, and this is the mistake a lot of people are doing. They just got the one vehicle on Toro and they're making the money and they're paying the car payment and putting the rest of the money in their pocket. But if they actually had the money going to their business bank account, this will help build up the business credit, the business bank statement so they can borrow more money. Now, here's another thing I want you all to understand. So if you want to try to actually buy a Tesla and put it under your business, then if you have strong enough business credit, then you may get qualified for maybe American Express business credit card. That way you can actually just put the car on the American Express business credit card. And that way it doesn't affect your personal credit. So your personal credit won't be affected if you use an American Express business credit card or any other business credit card that's not associated, that's not reporting to your personal credit. So you don't want to use a Capital One business credit card because again, it's going to report to your personal credit. So you don't want to use that card. But it, uh, Bank of America uh, business credit card, American Express, US Bank business credit card, those type of credit cards, even Navy Federal business credit cards, those are the type of credit cards you want to use because they will not report to your to your personal credit only to your business credit so say that you got a uh, 30,000 business credit card okay you got a 30,000 business credit card and you're able to buy a Tesla use Tesla at an auto auction then now it's an asset under the business okay and by it being an asset under the business now when you put it on Toro and there's other company similar to Toro that I'm going to make a video to help you understand how to um, really take advantage of leveraging 
just that one car to make more revenue off of it okay so we're going to talk about that in another video but say that you was to max out this thirty thousand dollars you bought the tesla and everything and put it on toro now again it doesn't affect your personal credit when you max out your card okay and so the income comes in pay off the credit card again paying the money to your business bank account your business bank account paying off the credit card okay so the lender that you actually bought this to and yeah you may uh pay a, a little higher premium on this as a matter of fact it's thirty thousand maxing out you're probably going to pay maybe about 650 to 700 okay versus where if you was to go get a car loan for that tesla um depending on the amount that you say a thirty thousand dollar car you're probably paying maybe about 550 and it also depends on your credit score as well but if you just want to actually just make it a business asset under your credit then this is definitely the way to go uh, this is definitely the way to go excuse me uh to build up your business credit and make this an asset under the company also uh if you have strong business credit you also may want to consider a business line of credit so with that business line of credit purchasing that tesla again like i said because it's an asset now it's making you money and again this is how you're actually getting the free payments because the car is actually paying for itself so if you want to learn more about how to set up your business the correct way and actually be qualified for business funding and everything then click the link below check out three-way funding or set up a consultation this is houston and i really appreciate it you all support me thank you